my head just got into this. Come on board, brothers. So we've got Lukey. We've got his absolutely mental DC5. We're obviously, I'm a massive fan of these cars. My mum's got a DC5. Yes. I had lunch with her earlier. I said, Mum, yours is 220 horsepower. For all intents and purposes, this is 700 horsepower. Yes. Low boost, it's actually 5. 515 to 530, give or take. Then 24 PSI, it's around about 700 mark. All, all singing and dancing, yeah, spec. Yeah. The most powerful one we had on the channel so far was the EG at 640, arguably a little bit lighter than a DC5, yeah. but this has got another 60 horsepower on top, yeah. so literally insane. Try and keep the stock look so it shocks people. When, yeah, yeah, man. Stock uh, original Brembo, it's actually quite nice brakes. J Hook this Pilot Sport 5 PS5 Michelin tyres. Oh, yeah. You've broken a few drive shafts already. Oh, yeah, I mean. Hey, girls. Sorry. Channel, man. So that's the weak point now, drive shafts, but 700 brake front wheel drive, it's going to happen, so yeah. just take it as it comes. This is actually, it's a pre facelift like my mum's, but it's a, a C pack. Rear wing wiper, uh, folding mirrors, tints. Okay. Uh, Exhaust system, I'm taking it, is probably like three and a half. Three and a half inch all the way back, yeah. Turbo back, no nice, boxes, man. no silences. <laughs> Got things like adjustable coilovers on there. Yeah, yeah. So fully adjustable coilovers, which was set up by GL by Luke. We like Luke. Yeah, I done yeah. a review of him years back. Yeah, so he, he done the setup on the car originally. And who makes the coilovers? Yellow Speed. Six. And we got Tagiwa. Yeah. Yeah, I've got Tegira. some good shit going on with Tagiwa. So big up them. Fully polybushed engine mounts, gearbox mounts. But the plan is with this car, track setup with the AP Sig parts, stuff like that. Whip them off. Put the standard brakes back on, put the 15 inch wheels and some drag slicks, and then go caught them off. Full, full drag car. Full send. You want to pop the hood? Huge intercooler, triple core aluminium rad. And then look at that precision turbo, man. Pretty big. That's what she said. Way! So it's a 6262, so fully forged K20A2, pistons, rods, springs, retainers, basically everything except for a CSS block. Apart from that, it's all done. Gearbox is built. Uh, so Gear X, one till four. Nice, a strength and, strength and gear set. Yeah, fifth cuff fitted. Six speed box. The fifth and sixth is like, it's a, it's a mix ratio. So it's like a cruise gear slash kill yourself Literally gear type thing. Literally 5,000 miles an hour warp speed. We've got a tasty looking screamer pipe. The manifold as well. It can't, it's because it almost sounds a little bit scooby when you were starting it, does, it up. It does, yeah. yeah. The has got quite a burble to it yeah. on, on tick over. Sounds cool. Who makes the, the manifold? Overkill, done all the pipe work. So okay. Shout out to Overkill, so they've done all the manifold. It's all welded custom uh, boost pipes as well, intercooler pipes. That's just like a coolant expansion Tank, bottle here. Yeah, yeah. A side tech rising rate fuel pressure regulator, and then that's just a little uh, oil oil catch can. So it runs thousand cc injectors, big external fuel pump, yeah. swell part. Relatively speaking, all stock interior, stock steering. Well, they're, they're actually a nice place to be. They're very comfortable sitting. These yeah, cars. yeah, and I mean the the aim with this is I want it running, you know, at the power route running. I know it's got a, you know externally gated at the bonnet but i do like the stock look yeah. the street look i mean so the, it, there's no meth no race fuel no nothing like that yeah i like to just go to the petrol station put Off the fuel in yeah 700 back to your right foot and have some fun 515 and then you get 700. there was a boost boy gear map on it i'd rather have it raw to be honest so it's just straight 700 from first crazy the m factor performance diff m twin plate clutch how do you find that on the road a little bit obviously a bit of torque steering stuff but <laughs> It does talk, Steve, in the, in the dry. Low boost, not so much, but when you flick it into high, then 
then yeah. he does to start to uh, to talk steer. Move but about a bit. Cause you're always going to be limited with front wheel drive cars. Yes, stuff, but yes. But I mean, with the suspension setup and stuff like that, it's not as bad as it should be. Yeah. Is the easiest way to say. It. And then, what's the actual mileage on the on the, sh the chassis itself? So on the on the chassis itself, uh, worked out to about 80, 85. Oh, low, low miles. Yeah, yeah. Which is why I, I I wanted this show, you know, to see pack. Yeah. And underneath, it's completely rust free as well. Nice man. Um, right, Lukey, it's got some fuel pump. Mine. Oh yeah, it's loud. <laughs> it's loud, yeah, yeah, yeah. That clutch though, that's a strong boy. I will say, like even a stock DC5, the steering feels so nice and tight. Mm, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. very tall. Shout out to your dad as well. We're gonna try and get. He's got a, quite a cool. He's got a yeah, yeah. So two point one stroke of Scooby. Just gotta whack the turbo on. That's the only thing. It's about four seventy at the minute. If you whack the turbo on, it'll be six six hundred plus. Sick, uh, man. So if your dad's watching, let's get him yeah, on the channel. Feels like tight and naughty, you know what I'm saying? I don't know how to describe it to the audience, but it just feels race car. Yeah, yeah. Do a little second gear pull for you, lovely. Yeah, have a ball, have a ball. Got tall steering in it. How are you still alive, man? John Bush has put down a little bit but they're edited to be very fast paced but you know you can't go mad around other cars guys you know like there's a bus there you know yeah. slow down just be a little bit appreciative of other people because these cars are very quick and people won't really gather how fast you're actually going. Pulls well, mate. That's an understatement of the year. <laughs> the goal is eventually, like um, Jamie, eventually, you want to go four wheel drive, thousand horsepower. Yeah, there, yeah. Long, long, long. I mean, that'll be years to come. That will, but the aim, the end goal is thousand four wheel drive sequential. I would say, like, I know you, you, you've got your brake upgrade coming, but a couple of pulls hard on the brake, you can feel the brakes. Yeah, like, that's yeah. the only thing which is a, a weak point now.
<laughs> Sorry if I'm going a bit mad on camera as well, but honestly, I've been in single seat race cars and stuff, and even then, you know, they're more about handling, and you know, this is just, it's like warp speed. I feel like you're, you're driving a Starship Enterprise. <laughs> the fastest car I've ever been in. I think so, in a straight line. Kino's car, 640 horsepower, EG. Very, very similar. I'd say so. Um, Kino had a bit of an issue with rear, rear stability, so. But to be fair, this is, when you're really on it, it ain't like, it's not 100% stable. Oh no, it's not 100% stable. There's no point like, stable, trying to just say it is, when it, it's just the reality of yeah. this power. It'd be actually good to see you guys have a little, little battle. So Kino, yeah, if you're watching yeah. it and you wanna, want to get involved with Lukey and his mate came down with the MR2. 600 brake, but that was rear wheel drive and it didn't really wheel spin apart from in first gear. That was incredible. <laughs> mate, my head just goes into the f***ing headrest. Don't forget as well, you love these monkey London sunglasses. I've sold them the first set, like I mentioned in the last video. But they're sick quality, they're proper weighty. We've got really nice thick glass lenses there. I don't want to say Compared to which begins with R and B, um, but these are better quality and, and they sell theirs for £170 with polarised lenses, mine are £99. So please do bear in mind when, when the next batch comes, I think I'll, I'll give Lukey some. Whether you're a man or a woman, they just it's a 54mm, very reminiscent of the old 60s shape. Um, so yeah, they're, they're sick glass, so I hope you guys will consider them. little plug as well for Lukey, I'm going to chuck his Instagram down here and you've had quite a lot of followers recently really, because people have been really sort of paying attention to this. Yeah, I've had a couple, yeah, I've had a few, yeah. Tried the YouTube, so certainly a new venture in YouTube, so appreciate if you all do a little subscribe. Yeah. subscribe I'll chuck his YouTube down here yeah, if you so guys want to check it out. Put things like, you know, Santa Mud Days, our test runs, stuff like that. Dad's got a 2.1 stroke for Scooby. Yeah. Uh, we need, racing and stuff need him on the yeah. channel, man. Yeah. Because obviously you've got Michelin Pilot Sport 5. Yeah. Why don't you run semis now just on the road? Is it because of the drive shafts and stuff? It's just, with these at the moment, these are pretty new. I put these on like just before Christmas type thing because with the weather and stuff, I thought semi sleep. Good point, I'd actually, I'd rather have yeah. a good road tyre. So I went PS5s, which are probably a little better in like slightly damp conditions yeah. like these. So bit, bit more tread patch yeah, for first yeah. water and stuff. So probably end of next month I'll probably chuck an R888R on or something or like that. Yeah. Or a Zestino yeah. as well. I'm actually going to be working with Zestino tyres and they actually make track day tyres as well. Uh, yeah. um, so highly recommend. I'm going to chuck Zestino's website down here. I'm going to be running on my drift car. They do do a specific drift tyre but they also do track day tyres which I'll probably be running on my skid car as well. The drift car tyres come with quite um, a lot of tread so you can kind of skid a bit more. Um, but they do do a dedicated track tyre and we're going to be running them on the track. I've spoken to a lot of like people that use them, a lot of professional drivers, and they're meant to be like really up there with ADO8s and stuff. So maybe something to consider. And they're a bit more, I think they're about 10%, 20% cheaper than like ADO8s and 888s. So it's definitely worth considering Zestino tyres. Give them a give them a shout. As I always say, guys, make sure you give the video a like. It really, really helps. Chuck any comments down below. I really try and get involved and interact, and I'll keep bringing you this sick content. And um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it, and we shall see you all soon. Get out the way, get out the way, someone's getting got bang. Get out the way, get out the way, funky's getting shot. Move. Get out the way, get out the way, someone's getting got Move. Get out the way, get out the way, funky's getting shot. Bang. Prick, Babylon, get out the way, funky pussy, I'll get out the way. Bang, Babylon, get out the way.